So this video hopefully will give us an indication of what the different LEDs will do as well as the LCD in terms of giving us feedback on the 3800 series when events do arise in the field as they most certainly will. The benefit of having a digital positioner like this is now troubleshooting in the field becomes second nature as the status of the system is displayed here and we have the LEDs to back it up should it be mounted really high and very hard to read the LCD. Um, in general, um, you're going to have a four blink codes. It's going to let us know what's going on with the valve. And as things change, you'll see the LEDs as well as the display react accordingly. So let's show you what that looks like in action. So right now I'm giving it a 100% signal, operating along normally. And then all of a sudden, we lose air. So air goes down. Now we uh, see a supply pressure low alarm. We see the corresponding blink codes. And there's gonna be more blink codes because not only are we gonna have the supply pressure low, but we're also gonna see that we're gonna have a position deviation. So if I wanna look into that further, I can push up, go down to alerts and alarms. I can see the current alarms. And then supply pressure low alarm, position deviation alarm. So that tells us both of those things and the blink codes would correspond and tell us what was really going on. So then if I back out, and then the plant air is restored. You'll see very quickly, the valve opens, air pressure is restored, and eventually all our alarms are gonna clear. So now we're back to system nominal. So this kind of feedback can be very, very powerful for everyone in the field and everyone at the, in the site to understand what's going on with the system versus having to manually troubleshoot something or hook up with a communicator or handheld. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of how powerful this tool is and uh, will serve you well as uh, you deploy them in the field.